Hello, I am Elvira Green, artist in residence here at my alma mater, North Carolina Central University. I am a Golden Eagle plus four years, which means that I graduated in May of 1962. It has been my honor for the last 11 years to be back at my alma mater, sharing with my students, my colleagues, the campus, the university, the community, my life's experience as a musician, an opera singer, a concert singer, a Broadway singer. So I am more humble than I can say to have had this opportunity to share all of this with all of you. That's very beautiful. It's in a wonderful space, okay? Ready and sing. Follow, breathe, willingly breathe. You have two covers there, do you not? Mm -hmm. The soft spring red head, red head, remember? The H moves the A ahead rather than down from the E. Got it? Mm -hmm. Sing. Sing your B flat twice. Sing. Four, one and two and one. Do it again. And and, and don't don't stop your count. Okay. If dad sing. Prepared? Are you prepared? Ready? One la ha ha. So you have la ha One breathe. I will not fear. Yeah, you got that because you have a meter change there, don't you? Uh huh. A space, darling. Space. I will sing. I will not fear. My agenda was specifically to teach voice, uh, applied voice, to teach diction in French, German, English, Italian, and the language of the Negro spiritual, to teach um, the operatorial program which I designed with Mr. Richard Banks, a former colleague of mine. What I wanted to present were some of my students who have graduated or in the process, as is true with these two graduating, uh, haven't given their final senior recital, which is part of the requirement when you are a music liberal arts major. Victavius is now working in Burlington uh, as a pianist, as a musician. This is um, Elnesica Waters, who is working in the School of the Arts right here in Durham. Lois Meadows is on her way to graduate studies at UNCG, 
This young lady is also working in the arts program here in Durham. Tiffany Agerson is in charge of the choir at Hillside High School right down the street here. And Mario Davis is Bishop Mario Davis, who has maybe one, two, or three churches. So this is just a picture of some of my students that are on their way to doing really well. As we move down, what we have here are some of the programs as a result of our presentations from the Operatorio Performance Ensemble. Porgy and Bess was the presentation for the Centennial in 2010. A wonderful, wonderful production. We've done Hansel and Gretel. We've done Spain, the land of Carmen. And just briefly, sometimes there are operas that when you perform on a collegiate basis and not professionally, you have to sort of take some things out. And so we wanted to make sure that we honored the composer's wishes, so we call it Spain, the land of Carmen. This year, our schedule was to do Sojourner. This is an opera that was written for me based on the life of Sojourner Truth by Dr. Valerie Gale Capers, an incredible pianist. We've done also, as you see, the Barbara of Seville. What I do not have up here is the Magic Flute, the Mystery Date by Dr. Malcolm Rector, who was one of our resident composers in 2007. Then as we move through this, I was also a founding member of the Spiritual Renaissance Singers of Greensboro. We were performing Negro Spirituals a cappella. That means without piano or other instruments, just the wonderful human voice. We have recordings of the music that we perform. And this was an article, of course, in the paper regarding the work that we did. We gave scholarships, we did all kinds of programs for schools and a summer camp for young people playing the African essential instruments in the summer program. It was an incredibly wonderful program. So as we move here, I had the wonderful opportunity to present music of composers of African American descent in New York City. It was a world premiere of that. In the ensuing years, I traveled around the world presenting that program. In 2001, I was invited to the University of the Virgin Islands to design their vocal studies program. At that point, I put together this program with Dr. Trice, she's here, who directs the Spiritual Renaissance Singers. When I came back to Greensboro after 30 some years of international travel and living in New York and singing at the Metropolitan Opera, I was asked by the Greensboro Opera Company to take charge of the summer opera camp. And I did that for about 12 years. Then for the final three years, I redesigned that program and it became the summer opera program at the Singer Studio. This is a program that was in the newspaper talking about the three weeks at the opera. And last but not least, this is my six week summer pro music program at the University of the Virgin Islands in St. Thomas. My colleague, uh, Austin A. Van Zandt, is uh, the director and I am the assistant director. He does the instrumental portion and I do the opera program. Um, we have also on this picture a student, uh, Lynette Bashulta, who is from St. Thomas, who just graduated last year from North Carolina Central University. <laughs> So the picture at the top was the, uh, the induction into my high school Hall of Fame, Hall of Distinction, Dudley High School in Greensboro, North Carolina. The picture at the bottom mm -hmm. was my induction into the African American Cultural Complex in Raleigh. The National Association of Negro Musicians, Inc 
will be celebrating its 100th anniversary in three years. In 2012, North Carolina became a member or a charter chapter of the National Association of Negro Musicians, Inc., and we are now called the Carol Bryce Branch. Carol Bryce was a North Carolinian, a uh, very famous contralto. She was a member of a very musical family, and you'll find some information on her when you go into the website. I had the honor of being elected as the charter president in 2012, at which point I also became a life member. So we're going to okay. celebrate this year our 97th year in West Palm Beach at the National Convention. This was a, a poster for the competition, and this, of course, I wanted my certificate. And this is the logo that I designed for our Carol Bryce branch.